Hello there once again. If you're just tuning in, you're watching Hella Kuwait right here on KTV2, the family channel. And our guest in this segment, we have with us Dr. Faisal Hamid al-Rifai. Uh, Dr. Faisal is the director of the clinical services at Dasman Diabetes Institute. Uh, Dr. Faisal, welcome to our program. Barak, thank you very much for having me. It's a pleasure. Nice to have you with us. I know uh, everyone at Desman is very busy. Uh, there's a big event uh, tomorrow, Thursday, November 12th, taking place at Desman Diabetes Institute. I believe uh, marking uh, World Diabetes Day, your annual event that you have every year. That's right. Can you tell our audience a little bit about uh, this event in terms of the timings, Absolutely. Uh, activities? What's going to take place, please, Dr. Absolutely, Doctor? Tariq. So uh, this is our ninth year consecutively that we actually celebrate World Diabetes Day. And we do it at the Desmond Diabetes Institute, as you said. It's going to be an open day for the whole family from 5 to 9 p.m. Everyone is welcome. Family, uh, old, young, uh, so diabetes, no diabetes, exactly, open for the public. So we welcome everyone to come and join. What we usually offer is uh, medical consultations, uh, free blood tests and screening, um, nutritional advice. Uh, sometimes if people need any uh, medicinal advice, pharmaceutical advice. We also have our healthy cooking classes that run in our uh, cooking, uh, healthy cooking kitchen. Um, and we also offer uh, usually a lecture that talks about or raises awareness with regards to preventing diabetes or managing diabetes. And also this year we're actually launching our campaign uh, titled Stop the Complications. What's that about, Doctor? So uh, as you, you know and our viewers probably know, uh, diabetes uh, ultimately leads to certain complications which affect various organs in the body, the heart, the kidneys, the eyes, the foot. And what we're trying to do is to focus and, and highlight the importance of tackling your diabetes today so that you stop the complications down the line longer term. So we want diabetic patients to focus on making sure that their blood glucose levels are within the normal ranges and that they can prevent uh, these complications from happening at all or at least delay them from happening. Uh, Dr. Faisal, Dasman Diabetes Institute is a very dynamic institute. There's uh, activities, events taking place all the time. Uh, of course, it's a research-based institute. I think it's the main uh, thing there at the institute. So for our audience who are watching right now, maybe from outside the state of Kuwait, tell us a little bit about Dasman Diabetes Institute, uh, a background, a little bit about the services it has and so forth, please. Sure, absolutely. So the institute was uh, established in 2006 under uh, the Kuwait Foundation for the Advancement of Sciences. It's considered a private entity and collaborates with uh, many entities within Kuwait within the GCC as well and internationally. We have over 15 collaborations with academic uh, institutions and uh, various healthcare organizations in relation to, as you said, Tarak, mainly uh, the, the mandate of this man is to focus on research activities. However, uh, in order to uh, promote research in different fields, there needs to be a clinical component and so we see patients in that realm where they serve as a cohort potentially for research projects as well uh, and we take care of their diabetes along the way to show them a new different model of care which tackles diabetes in a multidisciplinary approach. In addition to the research and the clinical, we do a lot of health promotion as you said and that includes activities open to the public almost every couple of weeks. Yes, so many activities at Desman Diabetes Institute and we'll be back with Dr. Faisal very shortly right after this break. Stay tuned. Well, we're back uh, right here in the studio, and if you're just tuning in, you're watching uh, Hella Kuwait right here on KTV2, the family channel. And our guests that we have right here live in the studio, we have with us Dr. Faisal Arifai. And Dr. Faisal is the director of the clinical services at Desman Diabetes Institute. And uh, Dr. Faisal, uh, maybe you could tell our audience a little bit about diabetes. Why is it such a huge problem in the state of Kuwait? Absolutely. Why is that? So uh, really a lot of this goes back to lifestyle. So 90% of diabetes is type 2 diabetes, which is actually potentially preventable and is not dependent on insulin. Type 1 represents about 10% and that's the type that, is, that needs and requires insulin and cannot be avoided. So in, in a sense, 90% is avoidable through lifestyle changes. What's happened in Kuwait is in a short period of time, lifestyle has changed 
with the advent of oil, the discovery of oil, that our lifestyles have shifted from one, one which is basic to one which is uh, very luxurious. So uh, with luxury, we, got, we have fast food uh, abundance. Um, people tend to eat less natural food now, um, and they exercise less. All these together really are what causes an increase in the potential of anyone to get the disease. And, and that's where we really need to focus. And uh, Dr. Faisal, the difference between type 1 and type 2, please. So basically type 1 uh, uh, it depends on insulin. The pancreas stops producing the hormone which is required to convert the sugar in the blood. Uh, and so with the absence of insulin, you require insulin replacement. So that's the injections right away. Type 2, which is the majority, is actually not that. There is insulin being produced, not much, and it's not being uptaken by the body appropriately. Mm -hmm. So there are different kinds of medications to help the body uh, deal with that. Okay, and uh, you know, uh, I've noticed, and I think a lot of people, yes. the Sman Diabetes Institute is uh, a very beautiful building institute. Uh, so much taking place uh, inside and so forth. Uh, maybe you, you shed some light on some of the things before. Tell us a little bit more about this uh, sure. beautiful institute and the fine work that is being done there, please. Sure, absolutely. So uh, we get this compliment a lot, Tarek, uh, where people compliment the building and we say, well, you know, as well as the building, we've got a, a, a very impressive team uh, of people that have come from all over the world, really, to uh, work as a team together in, in, in facing diabetes and in different fronts. So while we focus on research and we focus on clinical activities, we also have a lot of health promotion and public awareness initiatives and campaigns that focus on trying to prevent the disease or raising awareness about it so that uh, the community and the society in general is educated better. In addition to that, we also focus on training healthcare professionals in the field of diabetes and that have an interest in diabetes in order to increase their professional uh, abilities and skills so that uh, they can uh, face this illness better. Yeah, and uh, research, you have a very, as you can see on the monitor, there's some, you have very advanced laboratories. Research is a key part of the uh, mission statement of the Institute. Absolutely, and that's really the primary mandate. So we've spent a lot of effort in making sure that the research infrastructure available at the Institute uh, is really world class. Uh, uh, and the best quality available and that's how we've managed to attract uh, various academic institutions to collaborate with this man from Europe and the US and all over the world really. And we're very proud of having those steps and we, we would love to build more. Uh, Dr. Faisal, tomorrow the huge event, yes, absolutely. annual event at Desman Diabetes Institute uh, as we're coming towards the uh, wrapping up towards the end of this interview uh, Remind us once again in detail about the big event tomorrow marking World Diabetes Day, Dr. Faisal. So tomorrow uh, we have an open invitation for the public to uh, come over to the Desmond Diabetes Institute and celebrate with us World Diabetes Day. And that's going to happen from 5 to 9 p.m. Come on over, bring the family. Uh, and uh, we're going to have a, a brilliant time. What's going to take place uh, at, on so, this day tomorrow? Other than the regular things like uh, medical consultations, nutritional advice, medication consultations, we offer uh, screening uh, and blood tests for anyone who requires that uh, and would like that. But we also have a lot of kids' activities and social activities where we can interact with the public. Yeah, I was driving by there earlier. There's a big tent big outside. Tent. Tell we, us about we, that. So we do that every year. Uh -huh. We've got a big tent for the kids. Uh, with kids, it's not like uh, adults where, you know, they know what they want and, and, and you can have a one-on-one -on -one kind of chat about details. But with kids, you have to bring it through fun activities. So we've got face painting. We've got some... Uh, um, um, yeah, different cartoon quizzes, characters, cartoon think, characters yeah. coming over, and so it's a more interactive nature. So you can what, kind of come to their level and relate to them. Yeah, absolutely. So while we're actually raising their awareness of the illness, we're doing it in a way which really applies to kids. And we've I've been reading also in the newspapers and so forth that uh, you also have a lot of school visits there. People, you know, the schools are benefiting from the great programs that you offer at the Institute also. Yes, Tarek, this is a program that actually Private runs and government schools. Private and government, uh, it's a program that runs all through the academic year where we 
uh, welcome groups of students on a regular basis, at least two or three times a week, and we actually put them through a small kind of three or four hour program where we teach them about how to stay healthy, eat healthy, uh, exercise more often, and where we make them aware of diabetes and, its, and, and the concern it may raise. So if some schools right now, even institutions, uh, ministries, uh, government agencies, they can all contact this man and find out more and even maybe organize a program for them? Absolutely. So in addition to the schools, we welcome invitations to participate in open days, health awareness days, diabetes awareness days, and any public or private entity really that we are, uh, we are able to reach out to. And if they would like to reach out to us, we're more than happy to uh, accept that invitation and join them. And uh, also you have a very active uh, social media outlets also. Uh, tell us a little bit about that. So Tariq, we've covered it all really when it comes to social media and I'm very happy with that. Our, uh, the, t the PR media team do a great job there. Uh, so we're on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter and uh, Desman is pretty active. Uh, just search Desman Diabetes Institute. So they can just Google us. that and they'll find out all the information. There is the, uh, let's say, the uh, poster right there with the social media. And Fantastic. the mission That's statement, uh, yes. I mean, your mission statement is also a very clear and uh, very accurate statement for what's going on. Absolutely, absolutely, yes. And, the, and of course, your yeah, YouTube channel, so I think uh, maybe people could take a look at this interview as the years and decades go by, doctor. Uh, we actually try and put up all our interviews and all our in media interactions on the YouTube channel, absolutely. Now, the statistics for diabetes about 23 24 percent or so right, that's right as we're wrapping up how do you see that going in the next five ten years doctor so i'm we going to bring that down a little bit in the state of kuwait higher so i'm happy to say that for the past uh, two years the international diabetes federation has kept kuwait along the same uh, lines in mm -hmm. terms of the prevalence the percentage uh, of prevalence and it's roughly 23 24 percent as you said so where it was rising over the past decade, maybe even more, as long as we've kept track of it, uh, now it's coming, it's, it's kind of curbing, and, it, and hopefully it's coming to a plateau where we potentially can see a, a decrease, hopefully, in the coming years. So we're optimistic that it's not about just Desman efforts, but we're glad to be a part of that, but the efforts of all healthcare organizations in Kuwait has come to some um, result, I think, if we're able to plateau and hopefully then start looking at that number going down. Inshallah, that's what Inshallah. Uh, we hope for and we'd like to thank you, Dr. Faisal Hamid Rifai, for joining us, the, the Director of the Clinical Services at Desman Diabetes Institute, and we wish you and your colleagues all the best of luck in the big event tomorrow marking World Diabetes Day from 5 to 9 p.m. at the premises of the Institute. Exactly, and I thank you, Tara, for giving us the opportunity to share this with the public and we welcome them all. Thank you so much and uh, with that we pretty much come to the end of tonight's episode of Hala Kuwait. Make sure to go out to Desman Diabetes Institute tomorrow, enjoy this uh, open day. Uh, if you speak English, speak Arabic, uh, they'll cater to all of your demands and needs and so forth, the questions about diabetes, the chronic conditions, children, go out and have a fun time there tomorrow and uh, make sure to enjoy the rest of your viewing tonight right here on KTV2, the family channel. Before I leave you, remember to always take care of yourselves and each other and let's always remember to respect one another. Have a nice evening and good night for now. <laughs>